Is it me? Or is something missing? Yeah, there's something missing behind me, isn't there? Do you know what it is? Give that man a cookie. Yes, indeed. I'm starting the process of the review stages of Gambana Was Devastator. I'm going to be doing a few videos. Um, I'm going to be doing a review for each part, so it's going to be split into into parts. Some people don't like that idea of parting reviews, especially when it's a, like a, a combiner or whatnot. I just find it easier to do that. I like to talk about each part in a bit more detail in its own personal review. So anyway, so I'm going to move swiftly on. And I'm going to be talking about this awesome guy. Long haul. This is Combiner Wars Long Haul, a part obviously the, this guy obviously, what does he become? It becomes the torso, it becomes, well not the torso, it basically becomes the, the, the abs, it basically kind of, you know, where everything kind of attaches to. That's the reason why I'm doing this guy first, because really, you know, this guy is the main hub that everything attaches to in order to combine him and to defend so. So I'm going to go with him first and then everything else around him so it's just you know here he is this is a massive ginormous big green and purple and a bit of silver and black um dumper truck if you want to call it that i mean that's what we call well yeah it's kind of like the technical term is a dumper truck absolutely awesome and um, well there's nothing really going for it in the alt mode in this it's a good alt mode don't get me wrong very very cool um, but there's nothing really going for it. There's nothing that moves. There's, everything's kind of fixed except for the wheels. You know the wheels. You know. But it is a nice, it is a nice alt mode. You know, it's a nice. I love the green. Very G1 accurate green. Even though there is the Takara version. Obviously, this is the Hasbro version. Um, there is a Takara version that has, I think, the the, the paint applications are, is a slightly bit more, what you would say, a bit more accurate. It's a big, big figure as well. Um, if I got anything, cause um, it's not really a fair comparison, but if you wanted to put, this is G1 Scorpionok. If you want to put him lengthwise, he's about half the size of G1 Scorpionok. He goes right up to. Essentially, kind of like near onto his knees. So really, long haul is quite big in this mo in this alt mode. So I'm going to transform him. These guys each have a very s it, the, the the transformations on these guys are actually very you know easy. Yeah, what you do is you pull up slightly on the front. Um, on the front bumper and that releases these side parts then what you do is you release the dumper bit and you can and this front bit that once was the front goes over like that yeah and then the dumper bit on the back goes flat like so then what you do you all oh, ratchet your joints 360 swivel and then what you do with these legs is there is like flaps in between in the uh, on the side of the leg here and you flip these down and you put them underneath like both sides and they become the feet and uh, you kind of just bring these arms now because obviously that what you do now you split them apart you now have these like stubby little forearms you just get your finger and then you flip up but yeah you flip up the head like so and then there he is so this is him in his robot mode really cool um yeah okay when i first saw this guy in the promo shots 
I wasn't that impressed. I will be very, 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 very honest. Because he's very, very big, and he's very stodgy, and he has barely any articulation to him. Uh, well, he does have articulation, but it's very limited because of the, 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 you know, the design of him. That kind of put me off at first, but when I actually got him in hand, I'm actually very pleased with him. The head sculpt, look at that, the head is very cool. The, the, the arms are very small and stodgy. Then I see these forearms here, these are actually, he's, he's like a fist kind of moulded in there. Um, I'm going to go straight to the articulation, obviously he has a 360 movement of the waist. He has an, you know, bit of movement to the head, he has a good movement of the arm and it goes in and out as well and um, and then on the legs um, oh ratchety but he does have knee and he does have fore leg and he does have swivel in the knee as well and just just doesn't have any you know feet movement um but that that is him he's, that is him that is he's is basic in some respects but yet yeah, so cool i really do like i like each of these individual modes they are very cool and unique in their own way so that's the robot mode so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this guy into his combined mode and i'm going to leave it at that now what you do in his combined mode you basically all you do is pop the head down you leave essentially you leave kind of like the whole thing as it is uh, you then bring in the these flaps like I told you oh another you know, feet flaps you bring them in you bring extend extend the full leg that from here like this also make sure you retwist bring this up again like that to reveal these flaps and they are bit that is basically what reveals the devastators um, waist and then bring that down if you so wish you can bring down these these arm bits that can kind of fold them in like that and there we have it there he is in his combine mode Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Be back very soon with more videos. So please remember to like, subscribe and comment for more videos. Bye bye folks.